Ruiz is not a favorite against Joshua. Joshua is minus 200. Joshua is the favorite. Should he be, based on what you saw in the last fight? You know, it's funny. When we're talking about upsets, when Muhammad Ali upset Sonny Liston, uh, he was a 7-1 underdog. When he fought him in a rematch, you would think that, you know, he'd be the favorite. He was the underdog again. So, obviously, people feel that... I hate to use the word fluke because it wasn't a fluke. Ruiz got off the floor. You get off the floor, it's not a fluke. You behave like a fighter. You deserve to be a champion. And Ruiz deserved to be a champion that night. I would justify the line because Ruiz is 15 pounds heavier than he was the first time. It starts to feel to me a little bit like Buster Douglas. We're talking about upsets, right? Yeah, we are. Heavyweights, yeah, we are. Buster Douglas upsetting Tyson, maybe the greatest upset probably of all time in boxing, maybe one of the greatest upsets in sports of all time. And what happens? He gets paid. He gets satisfied. He behaved every bit like a champion when he beat Tyson, got off the floor just like Ruiz had to do against Joshua. But then when he fights the next time after being paid, his first defense against Holyfield comes in very heavy. And what happens? He flops. He doesn't behave like a champion. He gets knocked out. Why? Because he got satisfied. And and so you could talk all you want about what you can do at that moment. It's kind of like coming out of a Rocky movie. The music's in your ears. You want to be a champion. You want to fight. You want to run. You want to do everything, really. You want to run up those steps. But then the next morning when the alarm clock runs, rings and it's raining out and it's 5 o'clock in the morning, you, you might not want to get up and do it. And it's the same thing. Ruiz and his people, yeah, you could say we're going to be better. And you should be better. And you should feel that way. And you should say those things. But then the alarm clock goes off. And you got to get up. And you got to do those things. I feel feel like Ruiz has done a lot of damage to what Joshua and Wilder would have felt like if Joshua does indeed beat him this uh, this time. Am I... Am I wrong about that? Anybody can lose one fight. Anybody in that division can lose one punch. Am I wrong there? No, listen. Here's the key, Dan. Eddie, you're not wrong. I mean, anyone could get caught. I mean, Joe Lewis got caught. He came back and he knocked out Max Schmeling. So for me, the reason why Joshua, what, what this fight is all about, it's not about, like they say, the Benjamins. It's not about that. It's about redemption. And redemption for me is more powerful than any freaking champ, any freaking hook, or even a wilder right hand about how you're going to feel about yourself the rest of your life. If you have the right to feel a certain way about yourself the rest of your life. And for me, that's what this fight's all about, you know, tomorrow night. Uh, Teddy, great as always. Thank you for being on with us, sir. We appreciate it. No problem.